Now, I have bought something very special, and you are not to laugh when I get it out. I'm just keeping you in suspense. Oh, fiddly-doo. No, oh, I broke my, my thing. Okay. You ready? <gasps> what do you think? I built this. <laughs> I built this out of Lego. Do you know what it is? Oh, thank you, Baxter. Somebody recognised. It's a church. I had a lot of trouble because I didn't have any, any tiles to build it. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I did, think I did a good job. What do you, what do you older people think? Okay, thank you. All right, well, I'm just going to pop it here. Um, today... I have a question for you to think about, and Mr. Bernard, Mr. Babo, or the Reverend Gabbard, he's going to be talking more about it. But the question I have is, who builds the church? That's the question, and I think Mr. Gabbo is going to be speaking on that too. But before we go any further, I also have something that I want you to be involved with. You're going to help me. I need lots of help. First and foremost, where I've got some signs, and when I hold them up, after I've said a sentence or something, when I hold them up, I want you to call out what's on the sign, if possible, all together, and don't just, I want you to put some effort in, some drama in, all right? Okay, so, last week, remember last week we heard that church is a gathering of God's people gathered in one place at one time by God, around God, with God. Amen. Oh, very good. We'll just do it again to be sure, okay, so that you've got the hang of it. So, church is a gathering of God's people gathered in one place at one time by God, around God, and with God. Amen. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. <clears throat> so that means we are church. Yeah? Yes. All right. Woo-hoo! Now, we need to see who builds the church. First of all, we are human beings made by God. All right, second, we are sinners. Oh, no. And, yes, sin is where we, we say we're God and God isn't. We put us, ourselves, as number one. And let me give you a little example. God gave, gave us, most of us, mums and dads, Yeah. He gave, them, gave us mums and dads to help us grow and to look after us. So when mum says, okay, time for tea, wash your hands, come in for tea, and you're busy playing with something, and you sit there and you keep playing and ignore mum, who are you pleasing? Me. I. Sin. Another one. One piece of chocolate cake left. Beautiful. Big chocolate cake. Luscious with lots of icing. I like the icing best. Lots of icing on top of it. And you've got to share it with your brother or sister or friend. So mum says, cut it up and cut it in half or cut it up and share it with your friend or your brother and sister. You really like that cake. It's really, really yummy. So you cut it and instead of cutting it in half, You cut it so there's a little tiny piece that you give to your brother or sister or friend and you have the big bit. Okay? Greed. Who's being pleased? Me. I. Sin. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, God, we've got a problem. God can't stand sin. 
and sin keeps us from meeting with God. We can't be friends with God, we can't meet with God. Oh, no! That was a bit (laughs) half-hearted. The Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus is the only one who has never sinned. He's the only one who can forgive us. He did this by being born in a dirty stable and we've just remembered this at Christmas time. And at Christmas time, have you noticed how there's all these lovely scenes with the baby Jesus in a manger and a couple of cows and maybe some sheep and the shepherds and the wise men. It just looks so lovely. But he's the king and he was born in a dirty sta- into, into a stable. Yeah. You. A king in a stinky stable full of cow poop, sheep poop, the smell. Anyway, and he grew up and he was a man. He died on the cross for our sins because he was the only one good enough, the only one who had never sinned. None of us could. And he died on the cross and he came alive again. And he forgives us and we become part of his church. And we can meet with God. And we can tell others about God. Jesus is still with us. We have the Holy Spirit and we have the Bible, his word. And he continues to build the church and he is coming back. He is coming back. Thank you.